said, the Bible says the Lord our God, what's your name, bro? What's your name? Marcus? He said, the Lord that God have chosen us to be a special people. The special people, you see that sign over here? Let me step over here. Bro. You see this sign? This sign right here represents the 12 tribes of Israel. These are our names on the right-hand side. These are names that the Most High God gave us. Over here is the names that our slave masters gave us. So if I ask you, okay, what's your nationality? I'm going to show you something. What's your nationality? Huh? You don't know, right? The, why, the reason why we don't know is because when we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments, he sent the enemy against us. That's right. He sent this man against us to destroy us of our nationality, right. of our heritage, of our way of life, of our way of thinking. This is what he did. And all this is biblical. All this is recorded in, our Bi in the Bible. You understand? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 48. I'm going to show you something. Deuteronomy 28, 48. When you read the Bible, you read the, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it lays out a list of curses. These curses identify with one people on this earth. Right. And these curses is to identify who is God's chosen people in this last time. Bring that I'm gonna up. I'm going to show you something, bro. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Read it up. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, huh? which the Lord shall send against thee. He said, for us not keeping God's laws, we're going to have to serve our enemies. These people that did this to us, are these, are these, would these be considered our friends or our enemies? These are our enemies. I want to show you something. Read it from the top. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. These same people that he sent against us to put us on auction blocks, who sold our daughters, our sons into, into slavery, into captivity, who took your name from you when I ask you what's your nationality? If I ask you what your last name is, you're probably gonna give me a, a last name as Jackson or Johnson right. or Robinson. These last names that we bear, that we carry, that we give to our children, these were the names of our oppressors who put us on, who put their names on us to identify what plantation you came from. Right. That's right. This is the reality of where we in. All we gotta do is sit back and think about how do we get these last names? How do we get the names? That, that are put on us. Our slave masters gave it to us. But in return, the Lord said, since we don't want to serve the Lord thy God, uh, his commandments, we're going to have to serve these same people in hunger, if you want food, in thirst, if you want water, in nakedness, you want clothing, guess who you got to go to? Do you go to your people or do you go to the same people who put you through over 400 years of slavery? You go to them. Watch this. Read it, read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. He said in want of all things. If you want somewhere to stay, guess what? Who owns these projects right here? <laughs> Who owns these projects? Bring it out. The so-called white man. That's right. He owns these projects. We gonna have to serve the Lord that got the, this enemy right here in the want of all things. And guess who sent them against us? Guess who sent this enemy against us? The father. If you want a driver's license, a birth certificate, a death certificate, guess who you gotta go to? You gotta go to your enemies. Why you gotta go to your enemies? Because we lost who we was as a nation, bro. You understand? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. I'm gonna show you something, bro. You gotta understand, bro, you the greatest thing that's walking this earth. Who is Christ? Come over here right quick. Come point to who Christ is. This is another thing that, that why we destroyed as a people. Who's Christ? Point to him. Who you point to? Is that those? My bad. Is that Caesar? See, that's who you point to. That's who we was taught who Christ was. But guess what, man? Has any white man ever died for you? Bring that out. Huh? So why would you point to this image right here? You know Christ died for the sins of a people on this earth. He died for the sins of the people on this earth to have the ability to go back to the Father. So this man, you saying that this man died for black people. That's what you said, subconsciously. You got to think about that thing. Watch this. Read me Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner. Watch this. And the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. He said the ox knoweth his owner. Uh, these are two dumb animals he comparing a nation of people to. The ox know if it's owner, the ass know exactly where his crib is, where his house is. But he said, guess what? 
Remember that, that sign over there, Israel? When you identify who that sign is, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and the rest of the Northern Kingdom tribes, he said, Israel, we don't even know. We don't know who our home, where our home is. We don't know what people we come from, who, who, are, who owns us. And we don't even consider. We don't even consider. So you see our people walking around aimlessly back and forth, waking up. That highlight of their day is to smoke, to drink. That's the highlight of their day. He said, we don't even consider that we the greatest thing walking this earth. That's and right. that a black man, a black man is the one that died for the sins of your people. That's right. A black man, this is Christ. This right here is Caesar Boy's year. You understand? No white man has ever died for our people. This is what we got to take a step back and understand. What are we, we've been lied to about our names, our nationality, very down to the, the, the fact of religion. We've been lied to. Thank you, Mark. You understand? Read what you got. Read it one more time. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. Uh -huh. said, My people don't consider. Give me that John 832. My people don't consider, but what you're seeing in these last days right now, you're seeing black men, black women. We standing up. The black men, these young black men, we standing up coming back and teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. That's right. right and bring you out of mental slavery. And this is what Christ, the black Messiah, told us. Read what you got. John 8, 32. And ye shall know uh -huh. the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. The scripture says you shall know the truth, and the truth is gonna make you free. Free of what? Mental slavery. Right. Mental slavery, my brother over here. We in mental, are you, could you agree with us that black people all across the world, it don't matter what projects you go to, you can go to Kansas City, you can go to California, you can go to uh, Georgia, here. All these projects look the same, am I lying? All these projects, all our people are in the same condition. So that's what Christ said in these last days, what? And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. In these last days, he told us, hey, you gonna know the truth, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and that's the only thing that's gonna set you free. That's right. The truth is, Christmas is not in the Bible. The truth is, 4th of July, that a lot of our people just celebrated, is nowhere in the Bible. In 1776, 4th, uh, July 4th, where were black people? Bring it out. Where were us black people? We was on plantations. Right. We was getting ran down and hung from trees. Now you're seeing us coming out, spending all our money that we work for, the little crumbs that they give us in society, spending that money to appease our kids, to lie to our kids. And then we turn around and we tell our kids to tell the truth. That's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. And this is why young black kids don't believe in the Bible. But we are here to set it straight. Remember what Christ said again. Read it one more time. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. The truth is that you black men, you have been a chosen people above all people on the face of the earth. That's, right. That's the truth. But because of our sins, the sins that we in, let me give you one of the sins that we in. Let's get, let's get our numbers. Let's get numbers. Numbers 15, my, bro, my brother right here. One thing that we gotta do as black men, we gotta pull our pants up, bro. We gotta pull our pants up and stop showing our, our, our behinds. That's right. That is a jailhouse custom that we learned in the penitentiary. You understand? Of, 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 of homosexuality acts. Right. And we brought that into society and we see our young boys, now our young boys, when they come outside, they step outside on the stoop, they see the older men walking around. You're supposed to be an older man in the community. You're supposed to be a pillar in the community and you're walking around with your pants down. What do you think that the young men are looking up to? That's why they want to do it. You understand? What did I tell you to get? Read that. Numbers 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. You hear what the Bible speak unto the children of Israel. All through the Bible, all you hear is Israelites, Israel, Israel, Israel. Right. All through the scriptures, that's all we hear. My black man right here. All we hear through the scriptures is Israelites. He told us we are chosen people to the Lord thy God. Read and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. He said that we put up on the fringe a ribbon of blue. So guess what? What we read it is a dress code for you black men and you black women. This is a dress code that was given to us. If you go on the side of your own thoughts of society, that is death. Right. 
That is death. Our women dressing out of order, that is death. The woman is supposed to be adorned in modest apparel. That's right. If she's in any other article of clothing, guess what? That leads to death. That's right. This is what we got to understand, black people. We got to come out of, give me that li uh, limitations uh, four and five. Limitations four and five. We got to understand, the Most High gave us laws, a dietary law, what to put in our, our, our bodies. We're not supposed to be out, out here eating shrimp, pork, no. lobster. Right. All these things that the slave master gave us when we was in captivity. Right. right. Watch this. Read what you got. Limitations 4 and 5. Limitations chapter 4, verse 5. Listen to what he says about Israel. About This is what our forefathers said about the Israelites. Watch this. They that did feed delicately. Read it one more time. They that did feed delicately. He said they that did feed delicately. It's, it was a certain foods that we knew we wasn't going to touch out here. It was a whole dietary law that we knew we was going to keep. Right. You couldn't put no catfish in front of our forefathers. Right. You couldn't put no pork in front of our forefathers. Right. Because why? Read it again. They that did feed delicately. Because we felt fed delicately. We knew what to put in our system. Now watch this. Read on. Or desolate. And yeah, we what? Or desolate uh -huh. in the streets. He said now and all of a sudden the ones that had a dietary law about themselves. The ones that knew how to dress. Now we are desolate in the streets. My man, what's your name, bro? My name, my name Come here. Listen to what the scriptures say. Listen to it again. Read it again. They that did feed delicately uh -huh. are desolate in the street. Whatever street, whatever corner, whatever block you go to, who's hanging out in the streets? Huh? Who's hanging out in the streets, walking aimlessly up and down the streets, nowhere to go, this brother walking this way with no sense of direction. That's us, right or wrong. This is what the Bible is outlined. We are the people of this book. That's right. right. My man, you are Israelite according to the Bible. You one of God's chosen people. You understand? If you got a question, come over here, bro. That's what we're here for. We are the lost, we are the lost Jews. You said what? We are the lost Jews. You're right, we are the lost Jews. And I'm going to show you something. Give me Revelations 29 since you brought that up. Stay right here. Don't say that. You stand right here and you listen to this. Now I want you, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. My man right here, my brother coming over here. I'm going to show you something. The brother made a statement and said, we are the lost Jews. To be lost means you're not, care, you're not calling yourself a Jew no more, right? Right. There's somebody on this earth that's calling themselves Jews, though, right? Now watch this. Read what you got. Revelation 29. Bring it up. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Bring I want you out. to listen to this, big brother. And by the time you get done listening, you should take that cross off. Because that cross right there, that's like wearing an AK-47 on your, on, your, uh, on your chain. Representing you the that? death. And we're going to prove it out the okay. Bible. Because that's, that image right there is why they killed the black Messiah. That's, that's right. how they killed the black Messiah. And now we're wearing that as a cross, as, as protection. But we got to take that thing off and cast it. Watch this. I'm going to show you something about yourself. Read. Revelation 2, verse 9. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. You see what the Bible says? I know your works, your trials, and your poverty. Black people are in poverty all over America. Right, right or wrong? He said, I know your works, your trials, and your poverty. Read. But thou art rich. He said, but what? Thou art rich. He said, but we are rich. Why are we rich? Because the laws, because all the promises and the laws belong to us. That's, That's right. right. That's now watch this, read. And I know the blasphemy. The word blasphemy means what? Lies. Right. I know the blasphemy, the lies, read. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that what? Say they are Jews. Of them that say they are Jews, but read. And are not. And are not. Do you know what the and word out. Judah the word Jew comes from the word Judah. Do you know what that word means? Yeah. What does it mean? The word Judah means praise of the Lord. That's right. This is what the word Judah means. It means praise of the Lord. So when this man right here, this devil right here, calling himself a Jew, he's calling himself the praise of the Lord. And you got to understand. Okay, ball man. Ball man, I'm going to ask you a question, ball man. Hold on one second. When you call yourself the praise of the Lord, Everywhere this man goes, this is what he do. That's right. Bring it up. Okay. Everywhere this man, everything this man touches, this is what he do. This Bring it up. So, 
So when you call yourself the prayers of the Lord, do you think the Father would call this man the prayers of the Lord? Teach him up. You got to understand, this man took your nationality. He took your history. Right. He took everything from you. Right. Black man right here. The Father calls you the praise of the Lord. And this man has taken that from you. And he said he knows the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews, but what? And are not. But what? But are the synagogue of Satan. But they are the house of Satan. Right. That is the devil the Bible speaks about. That's right. And it's just not one of them. It's him and all his children. That's right. right. All of them. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth